I shopped at three different stores. I did an online order at one. Since it's gonna be a cold winter, it looks like we wanted to be prepared. This is my own personal cookbook of all the recipes that I love. Welcome back to my channel today. I thought I'd share with you an online shopping haul So I shopped at three different stores. I did an online order at one I was actually going to do it at the other two But realized it'd just be a lot quicker to run in and grab the few things that I needed at the other two So I did an online order through Walmart's grocery app and then I went shopping at Hy-Vee um, and if you're not familiar with Hy-Vee, it's just kind of, it's kind of a Midwest food chain. And then I did a Sam's Club um, run with my husband. So most of this is grocery, but then there are a few things that are like household items, but it's still grocery because I ordered most of this through the grocery item. And I think I got just a couple of things at the dollar store as well that were just things that we needed. So this is about a 200, I'd say between 250, $280 order that we did here. I hope you like videos like this. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and you'll get all of the notifications. Let's get into this haul. I had a great time shopping for it and I love to save money, which is why I shopped at the three different stores so I was able to get the best deals and I utilized, and I've talked about this before, I utilized the um, apps so that I could see which were the best deals. And I did the majority of my orders through the Walmart shopping app because that's where I got the best deals. But some of my meat was a little bit cheaper at Hy-Vee as well as Sam's Club. And then some of my bulk items like my bulk cheese is cheaper for me to go to Sam's Club. So let's get into the haul and I'll show you exactly how I saved money and tell you some of the menu planning that I plan on using this stuff. Okay. So the majority of these beginning items are from Walmart, but if they're not, I'll tell you where they came from. So we picked up six loaves of the white sandwich bread, um, and I'll usually freeze these and just pull out two at a time for our family. The Doritos I picked up, um, I don't normally get a lot of stuff like this, but I actually picked these up and I got these um, for mariachi chicken. It's a new recipe I'm going to try, so I'm pretty excited for it. And then I picked up some sliced roast beef. I'm going to freeze this um, until I'm ready to use it because this is for some cheese stuffed beef rolls. It's also a new recipe that I'm going to be trying out. And then I do pick up the 60 count eggs. I do a lot of baking. This will also do breakfast. I still have some eggs, but I like to pick them up each time I go shopping. That way I never run out. Um, I got two packs of the saltine crackers. We're gonna do three pots of soup coming up when my husband has a Sunday off here. So we're gonna make some chili, we're gonna make a vegetable beef soup and a homemade chicken noodle. So we'll need lots of crackers. And then this I picked up today because you guys, I have not had one in a very long time. And one of my recipes calls for some ginger that'll need to be grated. And so I thought now was the time to pick it up so I could do that. So now I'll have one in my kitchen. And I just picked up just this mainstays one from Walmart, and I think this will work just fine for me. And then every now and then I will pick up some ramens for the kids, so this time I did as well. I got some of these teriyaki beef, and don't let me fool you, these are for me as well. These are nice quick lunches, or if the kids really don't like something on the menu, I can do some ramens, maybe throw some meat in there, stuff like that. So it's a quick, easy way for me to do something if they all of a sudden they're like, I really don't like what you made, Mom. So I picked up the chicken and the beef, and then the teriyaki. These ones are a little bit, they have like more vegetables and stuff in them. So some of my older kids and myself really like those. And then my youngest is in love with these teriyaki. He calls them Harry Taki. Okay, so the zucchini that I have here, I picked up two zucchinis. That is for the beef, the cheese stuffed beef rolls. And then this ginger I actually picked up because this is part of a pork glazed, um, or an orange glazed pork tenderloin that I'm gonna do on the grill. So I'm excited. It's a new recipe, I've never had it before. And then I picked up a red and yellow pepper and two green peppers. My husband loves to use these in his chili, so I picked those up for him. And then some green onions. I can't remember what recipe I need this for, but I need it for an upcoming recipe this week. 
and then some celery. We'll use those in our soups and lots of other things, pot roast, stuff like that. I picked up two bags of the one pound whole carrots. I found it's a lot cheaper to buy them this way and it only takes a minute to peel them. And it saves me a lot of money and the kids actually like the snack on them this way too. And then I picked up two things of lettuce. We're gonna do some salads and some orange juice. This is also for that pork, orange glazed pork recipe. Some more baking cocoa because I was running out. This is for our dinner that we're gonna do tonight. We're doing um, Wisconsin tuna cakes. So this is a new recipe to me and I'm going to make these for on the side, these cheese garlic biscuits. And then I have a recipe that calls for apple cider vinegar. So I did not have any, I picked some up and some grated Parmesan, a couple of recipes will need that. This week I'm doing spaghetti bake, so we'll need it for that. And I ran out of vegetable oil. Okay, and for my spaghetti bake, I need cream of mushroom soup. So I picked up three things of cream of mushroom and it also calls for tomato soup to make the sauce. So I got three cans of that. And then one of my recipes needed cream of celery. I can't remember which one. And then I picked up, I thought I picked up two things of sweet and condensed milk, but it looks like I only got one. So I'm gonna need to check my receipt because I remember ordering two. Um, and then some minced onion because we were out of the dehydrated onion. And one of my recipes, I believe it's the cheesy beef rolls, calls for pasta sauce. So I just picked up a plain traditional. And then I got two five pound rolls of hamburger. And then I buy these two packs of cream cheese. I picked up two two packs. Um, I wanna do a cheesecake. And then for my beef roll recipe, it calls for ricotta, but I'm allergic. I'm going to mix some cream cheese and some uh, cottage cheese together and try to make the sauce that way. And then one of my recipes calls for mozzarella, so I grabbed that. And those beef rolls call for Swiss cheese, so I just picked up this sliced Swiss, and it was actually cheaper to buy it this way than to buy the block. I actually saved about 20 cents a pound this way, or 20 cents an ounce or something. And I believe my tuna cakes call for lemons. I think that's the recipe that needs them, so I picked up two lemons for one of my recipes. And then two oranges as well, because that pork it calls for full oranges i picked up one sweet onion i thought i got two of these as well but i must have not and then some orange marmalade because that recipe calls for that as well some dijon mustard that's also part of that pork recipe so i'm pretty interested to see how those flavors are going to turn out and then tomato paste i got two cans of that that's for our chili and then I bought four bags of these. I didn't realize how big they were. I don't know if I'm gonna need all four, so I'll have these for a while, I think. I got four bags of French fried onions because four different recipes that I'm making this week actually calls for them. And then I got a big tub of sour cream. I think that's three pounds there. And then a three pound thing of cottage cheese as well. Four gallons of white milk. And then for my tuna cakes that I'm making, I bought this four pack of tuna. So we'll have some extra for my kids that'll have macaroni and cheese tonight because not all my kids um, are going to eat these tuna cakes. I'm sure they'll try them, but it's a new recipe. So if they don't like it, I wanna have a backup for them so they're not hungry. And then I got some hot dogs for the macaroni as well because some of my kids like hot dogs with their macaroni and some like tuna. And then some soy sauce because the pork Orange pork recipe calls for soy sauce. And then I picked up a thing of frozen broccoli and frozen cauliflower and some frozen corn. The frozen corn is more for just some sides this week, but this is actually for a vegetable medley I'm making. It's like a casserole. And then I'll be making that with my tuna cakes. And then I'm also gonna make some California medley soup. So I'll be using that for two different recipes. And then I am making pork chops O'Brien as well. So I needed some um, Southern style O'Brien hash browns. And then I am making mariachi chicken. So I needed drumsticks and these were a great deal. There was two pounds and they were only like 250 a piece. So it's like a buck a pound or a buck 25 a pound. I got four packs of those. Now this stuff was right here is from Hy-Vee that I have now. And then I picked up, for my Pork Chops O'Brien, I picked up a 12 pack. They had these on sale, I think they were 99 cents a piece or something like that. It was super, super cheap. Or 88 cents a piece for them. I don't know, it was really cheap for the Pork Chops. And then 
I got some chicken bouillon. It was actually cheaper at Hy-Vee because Walmart was out of their Great Value brand. So um, it was actually, I think, like a dollar cheaper to buy it at Hy-Vee. Okay, and then we're back to our Walmart stuff. And I got the Mega Rolls, but I actually found I'm going to probably start buying at Sam's because it is cheaper to buy at Sam's. But this time I didn't want to have to return and I would already made the order. So, And then I picked up some OxyClean for our laundry. And then I get this for my downstairs wash machine, the Tide with Oxy Liquid. And then for my upstairs and my kitchen wash machine, I buy these little pods because it's an apartment size. So I don't need as much. So I got some of these. And they had actually substituted. And I've never used this one before. It's the fresh scent. So we'll see. I may find I actually like that scent a little better. And then I was out of garbage bags for my kitchen almost, so I got these. There's a little eight gallon vanilla scented. It's the only scent I can get them in, and I'm actually not a fan of vanilla scent, but they work and it is what it is. Okay, so let's see, what's next? Oh, and then I picked up at Walmart this three pack of Dove. I use this um, plain Dove soap. And then when I was at the dollar store, my daughter is allergic to all other kinds of soap, so I have to get her the glycerin. So I got her two bars of that at the dollar store. These are from Hy-Vee, they're white dinner rolls. And so these are really quick and easy to pull them out of the freezer, let them sit out in the morning and rise. And then you have fresh bread. So I got four packs of those because they were on sale for 99 cents a piece. And then at Sam's Club, I picked up 10 pounds of chicken breasts. And then we get our tortillas there because it's super cheap to get them there. It's 40 tortillas and it's really, really cheap. And then I also get my shredded cheese there, five pounds of the member's mark. And I picked this up for my coffee. I'm gonna try something different. So I got the French vanilla coffee mate powdered creamer. And then I got this liquid caramel so I can make my own vanilla caramel because I think it's gonna be a little cheaper than me buying the liquid. And I'm gonna see how it works with just a little bit of milk in there and to cool my coffee down and see if I like this. And this will probably last me the month, if not longer. So, and then at Walmart, I picked up, or at Hy-Vee, I picked up this one thing of sugar. I didn't need it, but it was 99 cents and they had a limit of one. So I picked up four pounds of sugar because I like to grab a good deal when I can and it's something that I use all the time. And the other thing I got at Sam's Club was this big thing of Swiss Miss. Now that it's cold, we thought our kids would enjoy having some cocoa just ready to go after they come in from the playing outside when it's cold and from the snow and we got snow really early this year if you follow our daily vlog we had snow on halloween so um since it's going to be a cold winter it looks like we wanted to be prepared oh and i forgot about this this is my favorite right now this is the palm olive soft touch but it comes in the almond milk and blueberry scent dish soap and i absolutely love this stuff you guys it smells so good makes me not mind hand washing the dishes and i picked that one up at walmart and this is less than two dollars it's like a dollar 87 in our area for that and then the last thing i got on our haul was this stuff from the dollar tree so these are essentials for me keeping track of my bills and time management and also just regular shopping lists i get these little magnetic um notepads i will do my bill paying on this like i'll write down what i need to go pay and go run and pay all my bills in the day and then i'll write my shopping lists i'll write my lists of what i want to get done for the day so i picked up two more of these at the dollar store i love it they're buck to buy they hang on my fridge and as you can see <laughs> i use them even for my menu planning i've got one here i and i hang them over here but i was almost out so i have them hung all over my fridge so i can just I can write a list of whatever I'm trying to do at the moment. And then these are for our homeschool room and I use these also for menu planning. I'll put them in my cookbooks and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I use post-it notes for everything. I use them as bookmarks for the kids, like on the books that we're working on. I'll write them notes for their homework about it and I use them in my cookbook so I can try out a new recipe and then if I like it, I'll print it out and put it in my own cookbook. This is either upcoming recipes I'm trying or recipes for this week that I wanna try. And so I marked all of them um, with post-it notes and I can just pull it open, find my recipe. And then if I like it, I will transfer it into here. I'll type it out on the computer and then I'll stick it in this. And this is my own personal cookbook of all the recipes that I love. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this haul today. And if you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up if you are not already subscribed. If you have not had a chance to check out our daily vlogging channel as well, you can find that over at Love Jar Vlogs where we share a little bit more behind the scenes of what this is all about. Bye -bye.